Yeah, I was at my in-laws house on Friday and I saw the news. And I'm like, they'll have it fixed by, you know, we're not flying out to Sunday night, it'll be fixed. This won't affect us. I was wrong. Some Arizonans are finally coming home after five days of travel nightmares. We spent a minimum of two hours in TSA only to get up there and say that our flight had been canceled. So now we have to get into the thousand plus people line for an agent. A pregnant Ashley Fields and her husband with a toddler and six year old in tow at the Atlanta airport say they made it home after 15 hours of delays. After three canceled flights, three standby flights and me crying three times. Three is the magic number, I guess. Um, we finally get on a flight to Phoenix. Her family touched down in Phoenix Monday night, but without their car seats and bags. Now she's back at Sky Harbor searching for them, and she's not alone. At the airport over there, the suitcases were just like this, like they were piles and piles and piles of suitcases. Olivia Schmidt came in from Houston and says the issues were the same everywhere. We tried to get a hotel, but all the hotels were booked, so we had to sleep in the airport, and they canceled our flight, so our 30-minute layover turned into like a 19 hour layover. Out of all the major airlines, Delta has seemingly been hit the hardest and longest by the global IT outage from Thursday night. The airline still dealing with delayed and canceled flights, frustrated passengers and missing luggage. An airline spokesperson calling it an operational recovery, saying employees are working 24 seven to get everything back on track and that Delta's cancellations on Tuesday are lower than the previous days. Passengers hoping to avoid this altogether. I am a high risk pregnancy and I was just praying the whole time. Just don't let me go into into labor, waiting in line, standing on my feet for three plus hours. Marissa Sarbach, ABC 15, Arizona.